the main word that came to mind was it's like incredibly humbling like very very humbling um, to go through that to be by yourself in the dark in the silence for 115 hours without any distractions made it impossible to not be completely honest with myself any identity or priority or value that I would have had outside of that as an outside of these four days could could exist without being questioned because I would have distractions to not fully go into what that meant. But in here, everything was questioned and there was like no room for any bullshit or lies. It just felt like everything was stripped down to the complete truth. So there was a lot of adjusting that I had to do and then the second day I felt like I had to like do a lot of oh, what's the right word here um, oh yeah the word that came to mind was like repenting almost I'm not religious but I felt very like strongly that I had to make up for things that I've done or ways that I've been and thoughts that I've had and priorities that priorities that I've had and not had so I felt like I was doing a lot of like if you just let me get through this I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll I'll change these things about myself I feel like I've spent so much of my life trying to be liked by everyone around me and do things and perform and achieve and succeed in a way that I will be liked and loved and approved of and be worthy and I just realized that well there's two two parts to it first I realized that my wife and my kids they love me just for who I am, so why am I doing all this stupid stuff to try and impress others? It just was, it just felt so insignificant for so long that that had ever been a goal of mine. And so the big shift that really happened was that for me the most, I realized that the most important thing is the love that I have for my family and that that that's not just more than enough it's everything and everything else is totally secondary whereas I think I genuinely for some parts of my life in recent years have valued other things even just close to as much as that not necessarily more, but even just uh, close to it. So I've been able to, in moments, think that work was somehow important or any of that stuff, like physical achievements, being able to do certain things. And it's not that I don't want to do any of those things anymore. It's just that there's such a big difference now in what the priority is. So it's like at all costs, family, is first and then everything is going to be fine I think that was <clears throat> once I once I got that it was almost like I, I relaxed that ability to s think about the space in between thoughts and then eventually that that space is also there during the thoughts it was very rewarding um, 
because of, it was challenging. And then suddenly it just was like, wait, there it is. And it's still there. Oh, it's still there. And I felt like, I felt like it, I get so, time is so weird. So I don't know how long I was feeling that for. It wasn't for sure, not the whole time, but for good chunks of time, I felt like I was just like, there, there it is. Shifted from waiting to just being there. But I did not, I didn't. If I knew what that was like before doing it, I don't think I would have done it. Cause it was that intense. I was, I felt like I was dying and I had to like do something to make it okay. And that got pushed through like fully. And I just like burst out crying and I was like, I miss my dad. And I just wanted, I like pictured being small and like crawling up and just like wrapping around him and him holding me. And that's exactly the, mm, the feeling that I have with my son. And it was just like very, very strong and yeah, very emotional. Like I really like just this overwhelming feeling of like I, I miss that. It, open you, it opens you up. Like it makes you very vulnerable. I've never been so vulnerable in my life. Just like every little, like the smallest thing would just affect me so much, both positively and negatively. Like I remember, like it's ob the obvious thing is like when you get sad, but there's also some things that like, oh, there was an extra carrot one day and I found it. I was like, oh, and I like laughed. And I was like, wow, that's so funny that I find this funny. So just like very on edge, like right on the border of like almost insanity in a weird way. Yeah, you can relate. <laughs> There's nothing externally affecting how you're feeling. So what's up? <laughs> it's like, wow, do I really dislike myself that much at certain like is that really what's going on right now? Because I think that I like myself, but then why do I feel so uncomfortable with just being myself? So that was very impactful. Yeah, the, that's the insight that I feel like I had, was that there's a big difference between already feeling rested in who you are and then going out and doing something for the experience of it and feeling like until I can once I've done that then I can kind of like pat myself on the back or feel something resembling worthiness